Good afternoon, students. So today we learn properties of homomorphism. Properties of homomorphism. Okay, so these properties of homomorphism are in the form of theorems. Okay, so first that is theorem one. So it states that let f from g to g dash g dash be a homomorphism. Let f from g to g dash be a homomorphism from group from a group from a group g comma dot into the group. dash comma star then first one f of e is equal to e dash where e belongs to g and e dash belongs to g dash r Identity elements. Second one, f of a inverse is equal to f of a whole inverse for all a belongs to G. Okay, so this is a theorem one. So it states that f of g to g dash be a homomorphism from a group G with binary operation dot multiplication into the group G dash. The binary operation is a star. Then f of e is equal to e dash. So where this e is the identity element of G and e dash is the identity element of G dash. Second one is f of a inverse is equal to f of a whole inverse for all a belongs to G. So this is the theorem. Next we prove this theorem. Proof. Now it is given that the map f from G to D, G dash is a homomorphism is a homomorphism right so therefore therefore it satisfies the definition of homomorphism so that is for all a belongs to g f of a into b is equal to f of a star f of b f of a star f of b ok this is by definition by definition of homomorphism so next first one first one we prove the first identity we prove so in this case now consider consider f of a star e dash is the same as f of a with the identity element. So any element which is combined with the identity element gives the same element. So that is equal to what f of a. Okay. So
so here because a into a is equal to a or a star e is equal to a so f of a star e dash is equal to f of a only or which is equal to f of this a is nothing but a can be written as a dot e a dot e correct or which is equal to by using this property f of a dot e is f of a star f of e so this is f of a star f of e f of a star f of e okay f of a star f of e now here what we have taken here we have taken uh, f of a star a dash correct so now from this uh, by the left cancellation law this f of a and f of a get cancelled okay so this implies e dash is equal to f of e because this term and this term by cancelled by left cancellation law so by cancellation law this term f of a f of a get cancelled so we get e dash is equal to f of e so that is f of e is equal to e dash so this we prove first one is we have proved now now take the second one again consider f of a star f of a inverse okay so now again by the homomorphism property by the homomorphism law this is same as f of a dot a inverse correct okay so which is equal to f of now a into a inverse is nothing but e or which is equal to now f of e is equal to e dash just now we proved so this is f of e which is equal to e dash okay so this implies this is an element f of a star f of a inverse is equal to e dash so now observe this here this is an element when an element is combined with or it is composed with other element if it gives the identity element what happen then the both are reverse of the uh, inverse of each other right so that is uh, if you know that a star a inverse is equal to e it means that a inverse is the inverse of e okay or a is the inverse of a inverse correct so both are inverse of each other so it was a star a inverse is equal to e then this a inverse is the inverse of a or a is the inverse of a inverse correct so in the same way this implies this implies f of a inverse is the inverse of f of a or we can write this as f of a inverse is equal to f of a whole inverse for all a belongs to g so this is the proof of second the second one okay yeah so this is the first theorem is over now next we prove the second theorem <coughs> it states that if f is a homomorphism if f is a homomorphism of a group of a group g dash then then the range 
एफ ऑफ जी इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ जी सच दैट फॉर ऑल जी बिलोंग्स टू जी इज ए सब ग्रुप ऑफ इज ए सब ग्रुप ऑफ जी डैश जी डैश ओके सो दिस इज दियम सेकेंड थे If f of if f is a homomorphism of a group G dash, then the range f of G is equal to f of G such that for all G belongs to G is a subgroup of G is a subgroup of G. Okay, so this is we have to show. Now here proof. Okay, so in this case, so you should remember one thing here uh, to prove. any set okay to prove any set to prove any set as a subgroup of subgroup of a group g okay so there is one condition we have to prove that is for all X y belongs to G. X y inverse belongs to. Uh, say for example, to prove any set H, to to prove set any set H as a subgroup of a group G, we should show that it is sufficient to show that for all X y belongs to H. X y belongs to H. X y inverse also belongs to H. Okay. This is the condition for. Any set to be a subgroup of H, so to be a subgroup of a group G. So okay, to prove any set H as a subgroup of a group G, it is sufficient to prove that for all x y belongs to H, x y inverse also belongs to H. If you prove this one, that it implies that H is a subgroup of G. H is a subgroup of G. Okay, so remember this for any uh, proving theorem. Okay, if you want to prove Uh, any set as a subgroup of G, then you show that if you show that x y belongs to H for all x y belongs to H, x y inverse belongs to H, then uh, it is a subgroup of G. Okay, so this we have to show. So now uh, we consider a set. Okay, so let f of G is equal to f of g such that g belongs to g is a subset of g is a subset of uh, sorry g dash is a subset of g dash okay so then uh, to show that f of g is a subgroup of g dash so we show that the required condition okay now to prove to prove f of g is a subgroup we prove for all x dash comma y dash belongs to f of g x dash y dash Inverse also belongs to f of g. Okay, so this we have to prove. Now. Okay, so now, now as x dash comma y dash belongs to f of g. Okay, so this implies when x dash and y dash belongs to f of g, it means that x dash and y dash Are the images of some element in G, right? So that is, it implies that there exist, there exist x y belongs to G such that such that f of x equal to x dash and f of y is equal to y dash, correct? Okay? f of x equal to x dash, f of y equal to y dash, because 
that dash and y dash belongs to f of j, it implies that these are the images of some element in g. So that is f of x equal to x dash and f of y is equal to y dash. So now consider. y dash inverse is equal to now x dash is nothing but it is f of x y dash is nothing but it is f of y whole inverse which is equal to f of x into now by again by previous theorem by previous theorem means what uh, in this previous theorem uh, here f of a inverse is equal to f of a whole inverse right in the same way here f of x this is x dash is f of x and y dash is f of y whole inverse or f of x so this f of y whole inverse is nothing but f of y inverse now again by the condition of homomorphism as f is a homomorphism right so as f is a homomorphism correct so which implies f of x dot f of y inverse is equal to f of x dot y inverse ok so this implies this implies x y inverse x y inverse belongs to f of g so therefore So this implies x dash, uh, sorry, x dash y dash inverse. This implies x dash and y dash whole inverse belongs to f of g. So therefore, f of g is a subgroup of is a subgroup of g dash is a subgroup of g. So this is the proof of the second theorem. Okay, so I hope you understood this theorem. So with this, I conclude this class and continue in the next class. Okay, thank you.